boy, let me tell you. Ooh, ooh, wee. Bam. What's happening, guys? I know it's been a minute. Here we go. Got a late evening, Sunday evening, coming to do a little research. Got to stay on top of them, y'all. Anyway, y'all hang with me. Let's go out here and uh, do a little live scoping, put some fish in the boat, and uh, see what we got to do to make it happen. Let's do it. Let's go get them. All right, here we go. I'm only using a, you see, I, you only can see one dot. So I'm only using a jig. I don't have a split shot on here because I'm going in there deep. I'm going to be going in there deep to search those big girls out. Look at this. That got to be a catfish. <laughs> that got to be a catfish. Old blue. <laughs> He hit that daggone jig way up there. Look at this joke. He's gonna wrap all around my troll motor and everything. Swing him in, Donnelly. <laughs> Swing him in. Oh yeah. That'd be a nice, nice fish for anybody else, but I ain't gonna keep no that's nice blue. Blue catfish. You're nice and we're gonna let him swim though. We got uh we got room for other things. I didn't even see him hit. He hit it though. All right, I see some fish up here. And one thing I will tell you guys is that, man, there's fish all over this lake. And with me guiding, it's, it's really, really showed me that. Uh, and I still hold the fact, hold, hold the saying of, I don't care where you stop at on this lake, you get on top of some structure, there's gonna be some fish there. Let's see if these will eat. Really too much structure in this lake. See if we can entice them out of there. We're right there at him. He didn't show no interest, so we're going to go. Oh, here you go. Oh, he, he hit it. He hit it. It's okay. We're going to find something that want to eat it, mm -hmm. not just hit it. Got a little bit of a breeze, but it, it's not bad. I found some slack water right here, flat water. And uh, one thing I will tell you is, is when you're not using a split shot, you really have to work at uh, keeping that jig in, in, uh, in, in view. There's a fish right there up under that limb. My jig sitting right on top of the limb. See if we can wake him up. And it's really thick right there. Another big old catfish up there. See what this is over here. See that jig falling down there to him. These are just open water fish. Not really hanging on structure. We're gonna see what it do. We'll get back in the thick stuff and try to hunt them, hunt them down. Look like one down in there. That's a really thick pile right there. I'm gonna try to find something not so thick.
Come on. There we go. <laughs> Went down there and got him, y'all. Oh, yeah. Swing him in, Denali. Swing him in. Oh, yeah. So what I got, guys, another nice fish. Let me throw him in a live well, and I'll explain to you what I got. What I'm using. So what I'm using is one of the old school Denali Prime. This is a 12-footer. One of my favorite rods by Denali. And uh, the bait that I'm using is a little one and three quarter stinger tail. And from no other than the Lemmy's Tackle, as you already know, this is just a black and yellow. It's on a 1-8 number two sickle hook from Lemmy's Tackle. And uh, it's like I said, I'm not running a uh, not running a split shot. I am uh, just running straight braid because I knew I was going to be going inside these brush piles, trying to trying to uh, get some of these fish out of here. I'm more than likely going to have to uh, either go with a heavier jig head or uh, go with a split shot because it's wind a little bit worse than what I was thinking. And uh, you got to have control. If you if you having to make adjustments, you got to be able to make those adjustments pretty quick. If you want to see your jig and the fish and all of that, now I'm not saying that you just you know my, my thing has always been go with the lightest that you can go with, that you can get away with. But with live scope, you have to make several adjustments to uh, if me if you want to see that fish come up and hit that jig. And that's that's just what everybody wants to see and uh that's what we pay all that money for for live scope to be able to see that reaction of that fish and and all of that so boat control is critical because like i say we do have a breeze so i'm constantly having to turn my troll motor to keep everything lit up that i want to see the boat's gonna keep moving making them adjustments like say i'm pushing my rod out it's just to get that jig by that fish. And most of the big fish that we've been catching, man, they've been really tucked in the structure. I, I, I'm not understanding. I mean, we've been having overcast days and seem like they'd be out and about, but you know, usually this time of year, people come out and spider rig just open water and uh, get these fish, but that hadn't been working here as of yet and this stuff is so thick that one second you see them and you get a little bit closer and there's a branch or something that's right there that blocks you from your, your being able to spotlight that fish all right here we go come on out of there big boy come on out of there boy come on out of there and just another one. He ain't no giant, but he'll good. Good to be back, y'all, man. It's been uh, tell you what, man, editing period. And I've been fighting with uh, my uh, helm feature too, so uh, got it back going finally. Um, and uh, gonna make a few make a few videos. And just the easy time of year to catch these fish. I mean, they they feeding up really well. So if you can get out. Perfect time of year to get out. I didn't get out here until probably right at two o'clock, I imagine. So within 30 minutes or so, right there, I got three in the box already. Let's see if we can get this one to make number four. And as like I say, they're they're down in there deep. So I've been having to really work that jig inside of the brush piles. And just like that. Feel like a good one. He'll do. Look at the good on this thing. Look at the good on this fish. Woo! Look like it got eggs. Woo wee! That'd be a nice one, Lee. You know, a lot of times I'll uh do that while I'm guiding. Is uh just uh even though you own fish, I'll make a move, and uh, it's just to get on easier to catch fish. Uh, we was fishing that really thick stuff back there and all we did was made a little adjustment about 20 feet maybe 
and uh, found some fish that are uh, on a smaller piece of structure that what I like to fish. A li lot less likely that you get snagged up and it got a couple fish on it. Oh, there you go. And these winter fish, they don't have to be very big. They got weight on them. They put up a good fight. He'll make 11. It's down his throat. He'll make 11 inches. Keep a few for a fresh, fresh, never frozen fillet. I just come out today just to see where the fish were and, and uh, what it's going to take to... I don't even think I was recording active captain. <laughs> Ain't that something? Okay. I'm recording now. That's something else. I wish uh, we could do it, just do it with the unit. Record with the unit to the memory card. It'd be a lot easier having to use your phone. Anyway, you'll be able to see what's going on now. Got these fish that are six feet out there. Got the jig swinging down. Get them lit up bright as I can get them. catfish in there. Bunch of fish right here. Bunch of fish right here guys. Get the boat settled down. There we go. It's a good fish there. Oh yeah. Look at this thing. Ooh wee. <laughs> Swango me in the nally. You know, I don't I don't weigh fish much. Um, guess the weight of this fish. I did put it on the scale so I know the exact weight. So the winner we check of the, the person that gets the closest to the weight, the actual weight, will uh, win some jigs. My scale is old, but <laughs> look at the back on that thing there. Ooh, 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 wait. Those fish are just, uh, they're getting real heavy, guys. They're getting really heavy. Um, they're eating eating a lot of shad, and uh, they're getting fat. They're fattening up. All right, let's see if we can get another one. And we went and got him. Went and stuck him. You good him. Come on in here there, boy. You good him. And guess what? No active captain again. <laughs> no active captain again. That's too many things going on. That's a good one, though. Good one. All right, so I'm starting to start my active captain right now. So <laughs> try not to let that happen again. Starting my active captain again. See if we can get on another one. All I'm doing is fishing this little ledge just right here. Find a little stick up and bam, there go a good one. Like right there. That's all I've been doing. And I'm not looking for no gigantic pile. As you know, I've been preaching that for, you know, even pre live scope. Another thing, too, is uh, <laughs> that's funny to me. Is I've had guys, I got a couple guys that some, somehow think that live scope is cheating and I got a couple good buddies that uh, they're like, man, go ahead and do a do another video without without live scope. And I'm like, man, for what? For what? Here we go. Come on, and just like that. That's pretty sign. Fighting them all the way up to the top on live scope. Not no giant fish, but he'll good keeper. He gon' fillet. He gon' fillet. He gon' fillet. And just like that, bang him. Let's see if we can get his buddies from dying there. 
got a couple buddies down there. So tomorrow is supposed to be raining again, from what they predicted. Ooh, good fish. Yeah, I say all of them good. I mean, they ain't no monsters, but they all good flares. Make good video. Coming up to him. And those of you that got live scope, one thing that you gotta understand: all the fish ain't gonna bite. And also, there's another one right there. He's swimming up to it. Also, approaching the fish, you want to approach that fish slow. That way you can present your bait to him without just blowing by him. See, a lot of fish in open water, they just uh, don't seem to... They're just not aggressive as the ones that's on the structure. But it'll be long line in time here soon. Come out in long line or spider rig, just hang your jigs across the you know, outside of the boat, catch some nice fish over these deeper piles. So we got the pelicans. I know y'all can hear that splashing going on. We got the pelicans diving already, so that's a sign that the bait is gathered up and the fish won't be long. Come on. Ooh, he nipped it. There's some more over there at uh, 14 foot. Now I'm using this 12 foot. I usually use uh, 10 footers, but at target range, just adjust your target range. My target range, I want that fish at 6 foot and I can drop straight on top of his head with this 12 footer. But I'm usually uh, using a 10 footer and uh, that'll bring it in 2 more feet to uh, 4 feet. And we went in there and got him. Good fish. There you go. Swing them in the nally. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been using these rods for a while and uh, I just hadn't had any issues, guys. You know, I, I, I talk about the nally and, you know, I don't get paid. If you go buy, go and buy a, a rod, I don't get paid for you, you know, purchasing that rod. But uh, it's just uh, a good product and they swing them in. This year, if it's not a catfish, it's going to be a really good fish. A little bit shallower, and again, just in the brush. See if I can entice him out of there. Lost sight of him since I got so close. In the root system of that stump. And I've lost him. And that's one thing about live scope, man. I'm telling you. Them angles mean, mean so much. I mean, if, if, if you're, uh, you got something between you and that fish, even on a drop off, you just, you just won't be able to see it. You just won't be able to see it. it it's not as easy as what people think. It's not that easy. Let's see if we can't drop down there and get one of them out of there. They off in the structure. See that bright spot in there? That's the reason why I don't run my unit hot because I don't want my fish the same brightness as the structure. I want those fish to stand out. Come on. All right, here we go. Come on out of there. And just like that, ooh. It's gonna be a good fish. Really good fish. Come on in here. All of them good. But that's what I like to do. And that's what it requires on this lake a lot. Uh, I'm fishing Lake Houston. And these fish, they just not roamers. They will at roam every now and then. That's a good one. Went in there and you seen it right there. Like I always say, you got to have your unit, even side imaging, down 2D, you name it. Any electronic device you got, you got to have dialed in to where you can use it. You can see. Uh, I'm not trying to have my unit so hot that everything is the same color. I want my fish to stand out. That means a lot. It helps me stay consistent. Because, you know, you 
pass by some of these piles and if you got your unit too hot these fish are so so tight to it or stuck in it you got your unit too hot you won't be able to see off in there to, to, to tell that there's fish there yeah let's see if we can get in here and get this one you ain't got to stop us look at this <laughs> that's another catfish another blue they're up there high in that water column look at this joker here they just begging me to take them home. <laughs> they just begging me to take them home. That's a perfect one right there. That's a perfect size right there for the table. But when you can catch crappie, why, why bother with catfish? Ah, I always get people, oh, catfish is good. Yeah, I understand that. I totally do. But. You can come out here and catch crappie when you want to. Why bother with catfish? Here we go, y'all. See if we can wake him up. Settle down, dog. Here we go. Here we go. Come, come on out of there, boy. Come on out of there, boy. Look at that joker on that live scope. <laughs> Fighting them to the top, y'all. Fighting them to the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, in the boat. In the boat. Oh, not across the boat. In the boat. <laughs> you guys, uh, I'm full-time guiding. You want to come? just come out here and just uh, get to meet me, shake hands with me, fish with me, hit me up. Uh, I'll put my my email. It's, I prefer you hit me up on email because uh, if you call, you're going to have to leave a message anyway. I mean, that's fine, too, but I'll put my email and my phone number. You can do either, whichever's easier for you. Hit me up. Let's get you on the schedule, get you out here, and uh, have some of this fun. Hands-on fun. Oh, look at here, would you? Them little old lay, lay downs like this, guys, I'm telling you they're fish magnets because what I've been noticing is is these fish are preferring to stay on right near the bottom and they sit down there with a full gut they're not trying to suspend and uh, but you get a jig in their face you'll make them eat some of them see if we can wake that joke up right there And it's like I said, once you get close, it gets really hard to see them because that they're up under that limb. And live scope does not do well shining up under or through structure. It just can't do it. It's, it is sonar. So I know that these bright spots right here are the fish. See if I can't see a little movement in there, make one come out. Yeah, they're dug in really good. Uh-oh. Come on out of there. So that's what I like about not having a split shot because uh, let's back up a little bit see if we can't see them ones. Them some pretty decent fish up under that log. So I'm going to do the PIP again and See how you guys like it. Yeah, I'm not seeing them, but uh, it's tough finding them up under them logs. I'm telling you, it is tough. But uh, if you take your time and just fish it, just take your time and scan it. You'll you'll find that they hold a whole really good fish. Get back out here on this ledge. Seemed like there was more fish along that ledge. It won't be long. This thing's going to bust wide open. I mean, it's already great fishing. Great catching. It's great. And in several areas. A little deeper pockets. All you got to do is find a little deeper pockets, man. They just, they, they've been holding in them deeper, around them deeper pockets. Not in them, but I'm fishing, you know, about 14 feet, 12 to 14 feet down there right now. And uh, getting on some decent fish. Get on down there, Jig. That's another thing, too is uh 
you're not using split shots it takes longer to get your jig down there we're gonna catch that fish let me get this boat stopped he's sitting there looking too pretty we're gonna catch that we can spot him again And just like that. Swing him in, Denali. He ain't no giant, but he'll do. He'll do. He gonna do. <laughs> he will do. He ain't no giant, but he'll do. That ledge look like a like a like it's got stairs on it, don't it? <laughs> you see those different layers? Look like it got stairs on it, stair step. So let me show you guys what I'm running. I don't run in my depth and fault range. I keep on uh, manual. My gain, I got it 55. You can see right there at the top. Go to sonar setup, the appearance. We're going to go into it here in a little bit. Noise reject on high. Got my ghost reject on auto. And that, that ghost reject, some days I come out here, I can put it on low and it give me a better reading. So you just got to be able to play with that. TVG, I'm running it on off. Uh, so we go to appearance. Got my color gain at 27. I usually keep it 25 to 27, somewhere in there. And uh, color limit. Usually run that on off. It's, it's on off, but saying default, is the default is off. Uh, so I don't use that color limit and uh, that's what you that's what I set it on I mean uh, it's uh gives me a pretty good reading and it's like I say I can see those fish in the structure and that's very important for me that's very important and if you open water fish it may not mean nothing to you to to uh, have uh, the fish a different color or a different brightness than uh, the structure, but if you structure fish, you don't want that. You don't want your your uh, your you know you don't be running your game so hot that you can't see those fish in there. This will be a part one to a two part series of this video. Hopefully you found this information useful and also part two got some more valuable stuff that you don't want to miss out if you're a live scoper or if you're planning on getting live scope. This stuff will help you. Look for part two coming very soon. Hitting that thumbs up and subscribing means a lot to me guys so if you haven't please do so. Thanks.